Aye, oh yeah, baby. Welcome to Chef Buckhead's Candy Kitchen. Hot day. All right, let me tell you what. Today, I'm making a rabbit stew. You know, back in the old days, way back when, people used to tell me that if you had a rabbit and you put it together, you can veggies, you can make a rabbit stew. Well, I remember as a kid there, the old hobos used to live under the track and they'd make a rabbit stew. But if one of them came by and brought a squirrel or a chicken, anything, any other kind of piece of meat, it became a mulligan stew. That was the name of it at that time. Anyway, we doing rabbit stew. Hang with me. I'm going to show you how it's done. Hot dang. Whip. Get me a rabbit, baby. Today is the day for a rabbit stew. Hot dang. Come on, sissy. No squirrels. All right, this morning I, I went hunting for a rabbit. I only got one, but you know what? That, that's good enough. Look at that puppy there. Look at that rascal. That's a pretty rabbit. You might hear some birds out here, but that's kind of like I live out in, the, out in the countryside right now. And they got my little birds in the cage, and they got a bunch of wild ones running loose and all kind of stuff. Feel like I'm in a, a, a sanctuary. All right, here I go. First thing I'm gonna do with this rabbit, I cleaned it good. Now I'm gonna salt it up. Now you gotta remember the old folks back then, they didn't have a whole bunch of stuff, but we lucky these days. I got salt on there and I'm putting a little garlic powder. That's good. Put it on the side, got a little, a little something here to help me wet the old whistle. And I'm spilling all my little bell peppers. Anyway, you season it up the way you want. Ah, I dang. All right, paprika. And all I'm doing is just putting a light layer on everything. Now I'm going to start this out here, outside, but I tell you what, if it gets to getting dark on me, we'll be moving it indoors. Chili, little chili pepper. Like a little chili pepper. I'm going to put a little cayenne pepper. Like it a little spicy. Now, you remember I made some roux. I just made a dry roux. Well, I did something special with mine. I put a bunch of black pepper in mine. Because I like mine, I like the black pepper flavor. But this is going to go in my gravy. So we'll be using that. We'll be using parsley flakes. I'll be using this gnar product. This is tomatoes. It's powdered tomatoes. And with this powdered tomatoes, it's got some uh, chicken broth, chicken bouillon. Got celery, got three stalks of celery chopped. Two whole onions chopped. In this bowl, what I showed you a while ago, I've got three carrots and four potatoes chopped. Garlic, three cloves of garlic chopped. One big tomato chopped. And that's about a quarter, quarter of a bell pepper I had left. That's gonna be in there. I might be adding a little chicken broth. Oh yeah. Water, gotta have some water for the gravy. What else we got that I'm forgetting? Wait a minute, here we go. All right, this is some of my cherry berry homemade wine. Yep. And uh, I'll be adding about a cup of wine to the gravy. Now I use, I'm using cherry berry, but hey, whatever floats your boat, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna take my meat at this time. 
work them spices in. And I'm gonna set, reset up. I gotta go to the stove right now. So we got some serious business to take care of. All right. Peanut oil, I always use peanut oil. Try to use it as much as I can. I need to brown that rabbit real good because that's the first thing you want to do. Oh yeah. It's hot, baby. Just in case that old rabbit this morning along the track. I wasn't doing nothing in the field, but as soon as I hit the track, uh, walking on the track, Sissy took off and sure enough, that sucker come crawling, running across the track, and then old Sissy got. Give me a chance to get a bead on it. It's a nice one. Oh yeah, that was a nice one, I guarantee you. Put a little rabbit juice in there. I'll tell you what, that peanut oil fries so good. It's got a, a, a flavor when you're frying food just like, like just like you've never had, you know? That's why I like to fry meat in there. You don't have to just fry cookies and stuff and peanut oil. Hell. Damn that rabbit smells good. Oh, oh, baby. I don't know why I don't go hunting more often for these suckers. Grow my fire a little bit. And I can start kind of... <coughs> Let's get the belly meat. I'm just going to brown first to the center. God Almighty, girl. Let me tell you what, y'all gonna see a gravy that's gonna be so so golden. Oh yeah. Alright, what's gonna go next? You took all the meat out, you didn't lower the fire. It's when you want to put onions in there. Onions. There you go. Got about two onions there. Chop. Looking good. I'm going to add a little bit more grease to this. A little bit more peanut oil. I gotta fry them onions down. The rabbit done soaked up a lot of, a lot of my oil. bell pepper in there now. I got a quarter, maybe a half a bell pepper chopped, but you know what? It's whatever you want to do. If that floats your boat, go with it. You 
like a lot of bell pepper, put it in there. For flavor, put it in there. Use a half. What else I got going on here? Celery. Three stalks of celery, chopped. Let all this saute a little bit. This gravy is going to be almost black. What you talk about awesome. bit more peanut oil. You want to keep an eye on that. You want a little oil in here. Because you've got to try to fry these veggies. Throw some tomatoes in there. And some garlic. I got one whole tomato and I got three cloves of garlic chopped up. Now them tomatoes are gonna give me some more liquid in there. You notice I'm working on the gravy more than I'm working on getting that rabbit cooked. Well that rabbit tinged pretty good. I'm only going to have about an hour and a half on that rabbit, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. Ah, that smells good. Ooh. See them tomatoes starting to fall apart in there. Skin's breaking away from the meat. Which helps it. To turn to li help liquefy it. <laughs> Gonna put about a half a cup of wine. Let that start doing its thing. Oh yeah. Now that's taking the that's part of that gravy process. God, if you can smell that. That gravy is just so beautiful right now. Get some of that green knees off of there. Open up a little Voss water. Put about a cup. Put about a half a can of chicken broth.
pick my fire up and start putting my meat in there. All right, now I'm not gonna season this anymore right now until after a while. That's when I'm gonna do a little bit more to it. But what I will do is cover my meat. with water. And I'm gonna put a teaspoon. I need a teaspoon. Tomato bouillon by Nar. Put that in there. Might as well get it going, baby. teaspoons of my roux mixed with black pepper. Now this got to cook. Smell this, boy. I tell you what. I'm gonna have people over shortly, I can guarantee you. Alright, covering this baby up. Blow my fire. Tell you what, this been on about uh about 40 minutes. I tasted it a few minutes ago. I'm just going to add very little ingredients because, man, it, it's awesome. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. I can use a touch up of cayenne, not much, not even a quarter of a teaspoon. Ah! Parsley flakes. Brand new. Don't mind the birds. It's late in the evening. They want to roost. They're going to raise a little cane for a while. I'm going to put a few parsley flakes in there. Maybe a, te a teaspoon. They don't really have a great, great big uh, pot. Paprika. A little paprika. Like old John said, that's for the essence. A little touch of chili. Chili powder. I'm gonna do some salt. Not much, because it's already got a, it's got a little sweetness in there. But that's to be expected. I got tomatoes, I got uh, chicken bouillon, I got all kinds, I got wine in there. So that's to be expected, a little sweetness. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now all this is going to be served on a bed of rice. Starting to get dark on me right now, so I really got to, got to get with it. Probably end up uh, more than likely putting this in the house to finish it off for video purposes. Me, I'll sit out here all night. I need to add some more of this Voss water. Now that's not the sparkling, I use the steel. Steel, not this steel. And you just want to pretty much keep your rabbit covered. 
to the top with water, you know, just cover the top of your rabbit with water. That's good. Because don't forget, I got potatoes and carrots to add. Hey, hey, look here who just showed up. Oh, Johnny, no air time, John. What you think, Johnny? Woo! I bet that was a pretty rabbit. Oh, that sucker was big, too, boy. I tell you what, I had a hard time cleaning it, but a harder time cutting it, man. I, you know, I can tell by the size of his leg he was big. He was big, brother. He was trying to hop along the track. Me and Sissy went, and Sissy got it out the bushes, and I pop, got that little sucker, man. Oh, you go hunting with one shell. That's, you I only need one, one shell, Johnny, just <laughs> one shell. Oh, you the man. Hey, like you say, support the NRE. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way I get my rabbit. You're the man. That rabbit, that, that rabbit was paralyzed as oh, soon as he saw you come. Oh, Lord have mercy. Is that good, bud? It's very good. All right, I'm going to go Tasty ahead stuff. and throw my carrots and potatoes in there. And I'm going to have to finish it in the house. It's getting kind of dark. And I'm going to see you after a while, okay, bud? And chilly out here. I know, it, and it's getting kind of chilly. Now, now, this is, has me toasty warm inside. I, Oh, Lord have mercy. You go, you and your red stag. All right, Johnny. Hey, look, I'm taking the show inside. It's getting chilly. And it's getting a little dark. But remember, if it's chilly today, it's hot tamale. Hot Aye, tamale. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, I can't. All right, look here, this is done. Let's see what it's gonna do for us. I got me a excellent tester out here. I tell you what, y'all know Corey. Put a few carrots, carrots and potatoes on here. A little gravy. Corey, that's my rabbit boy. I've got a lot that's gotta come out this pot. Let me tell you what. Got Leo, got John, got us, got everybody. All right, Corey, test this out. That's Corey getting at it, boy. You go, Ooh. son. That's good. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff there, huh, bud? Dang, I tell you what. Yeah, that's yeah, perfect. Man, I tell you what, I got a lot to do right now. How is it, son? Perfect. Good deal. Oh, Look here. Hey. Oh, push you over a little bit, boy. Give me, <laughs> give me some space. I'm trying to Don't take my the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, the chef bouquet. I tell you what. I got a lot going on. I'm getting ready to fix me a plate. I don't like to tease myself. <laughs> Good, boy. Oh, yeah. Get it? That rabbit is awesome. I love it the way it is. Some people like to cook it till it turns mushy. I like it to look like chicken. Cause that's what we do, right, bud? Oh yeah. Corey, you want a cold one, man, or you want a mixed one? <laughs> I don't care. Either one. All right, Either look. One. <laughs> Me and Corey's out of here. Aye, oh yeah, baby. Aye, hot day. <laughs> Oh, that, that is good, huh, Corey? Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 